Pumla Investment Solar Specialist Nobet Ao explained that due to the challenging geographical location of Telefomin, transporting fuel for electricity generation would be difficult and costly. That's basically what the system is. It's an 50 kilowatt. And I encourage our remote areas, that kind of something, law. must to look at this time, I invest inside the this kind of system. So, which is um, the features that you may also install him now, it's in a hybrid. So, where there's grid, there's no grid, the system will also work. You can still tap in into the building, the solar can still come in. He emphasized that solar power is a more efficient and practical option for meeting the district's energy needs. I'm sustaining one of my blood, I put him trash to me, blah, blah. I can build him, I'm like, you also know, I'm proving, proving more of him. And that's the way to go. I'm three phase power, three phase output, but it's like one of my system now comes on. It's just no more less, no more grid power, you must have them. So. All the aircons are running, full capacity, full load the building. Aircons, machines, what to what, over there, we got to run stuff, load this system, solar system now at the moment. He said at present, the building is using 80 kilowatts of the total of 850 kilowatt capacity with all machines operating smoothly and effectively powered by the solar system. Currently is using um, 80 kilowatts at the moment and we have uh, 70 kilowatts excess of power there. That is based on our calculation that gives five days of autonomy which means um, when there's no Whereas there's, I mean, there's no sunshine, the battery cannot charge, it can still hold the building up to five days without recharging. So that's what the system, basically what we have installed. It took us out about a year to get this installation complete. This move to solar energy marks a significant step towards sustainability and energy independence for the telephone district. James Guggen, National MTV News.